Well, hello once again, uh, Ryan Deckard here, your Director of Technology from BGA with just hopefully a quick uh, video on some of the ins and outs and easiest way to get your Jupyter Ed going here at BGA. Once again, don't forget there's a whole playlist of some tutorials and helping you get things set up in more detail than this. This is just a quick, brief introduction uh, into the easiest way to make things work here uh, at BGA. So the first thing that you want to, want to do is go to login.jupyter.ed.com. Uh, I'm going to highlight it right there for you. Just type that part in and it'll bring you to the site right here. Um, you'll get your login information. Um, if you're a new staff member and you don't have a login just uh, yet, just shoot me a quick email and I'll make sure I get you on there. I've tried to add everybody, but I realize uh, that I probably have forgotten a few in the mix somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to log in. Uh, I'm going to move over to my teacher mode because uh, this is what you'll see uh, and you can see that I am still in last year's uh, digital learning mode so I just need to move over uh, to this and so I'm going to hit start a new grade book uh, and you're going to this, this is where you go so start new grade book uh, you'll see schools Boston Green Academy uh, and we're going to go ahead and start this school year right and, and then we're going to make sure we start first quarter. Uh, and so those are the things that we want to do. None of your classes should be the same as last uh, year. Uh, and so uh, we're not going to keep any of the same courses for now. In future quarters, future terms, you may want to do that. But right now, we're not going to. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see that everything's blank uh, and, and everything's brand new. So the first thing I want to do, uh, once I have my schedule and my rosters available, I'm going to click New Class. Uh, you can click the period that it falls under. Uh, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, um, you know, uh, depending on which block it falls on in your block schedule, um, your advisory 9 and 10, advisory uh, 11 and 12, uh, it, you know, pick what block uh, that you that it falls under for you. Uh, I know middle school's blocks are a little bit different, uh, but the best description uh, is what I know I will have in a, oh, I know I'm going to have a 10th grade advisory, so I'm going to pick that real quick. Uh, I'm going to go course. I'm going to do ADV, that's just abbreviation for advisory, and then I can uh, pick what I want the tab to say uh, whenever I have multiple classrooms. That'll be the easiest way to recognize. Uh, and so then I'm going to click new, and now I have a course, but I have no students. Uh, and, and so the easiest way uh, to do that, oh, one interesting thing I do uh, want to bring attention to it while I have it right here. Uh, for each of these courses, uh, uh, you can add your Zoom links right here uh, into uh, as you're setting them up, if you create your Zoom links, you'll be able to add uh, the URL that'll take your students directly to uh, Zoom. So it's, it, it might be redundant because we'll have it in multiple spots, but it's a, it's a, it's a, a good fail safe right there just to add it there just in case they're in Jupyter and they want to see um, how to get to their Zoom meeting. And so I have this course. Now I need to actually uh, set it, uh, finish setting it up and add students. Right, so I'm in advisor, you see that ADV, I told you that's what was gonna pop up. Uh, I'm gonna hit set up students. Uh, and one of the easiest ways, once you have your rosters in Aspen, you'll be able to uh, export all their ID numbers, just like this. Uh, and all you're gonna have to do is copy and paste uh, into this little box right here. Um, if you don't wanna copy and paste, for whatever reason, you can start typing names, you can start typing ID numbers uh, into this box. And then when I hit add, you'll see um, I've already imported the, uh, all the students into the system. Uh, so you'll be able to find your students that way. Their ID numbers are right there, their names right there, and you'll hit OK from there. Uh, and that now has my first course set up and ready to go. My advisory is ready to go for the first day of school. Uh, when I hit done on adding students, now I'll be able to add assignments uh, and those type of things if you want to set up uh, your grading policies and your scores and your systems, this is the way to do it. Uh, so the categories, uh, these are just, um, th these are, you can change these uh, no matter what the defaults, uh, I let you change those based off of your course. If you wanna do weighted versus unweighted, uh, however you wanna do it, that's up to you. Uh, this is just the default settings that are in here. But other than that, I think that should get you at least pointed in the right direction if you follow the rest of the playlist. You'll get some of the more detailed uh, information that you may need to do, some of the advanced grading uh, and, and some of the ins and out. And don't forget to also check out that video, which will link your Google um, account, um, link your Google account uh, to your Jupyter classes uh, for grading purposes uh, and 
helps ease that process and take a few steps out of that. But other than that, we will talk to you later and see you later. As always, feel free to shoot me any questions and feedback. Uh, I would gladly take it.